Wat heb je altijd al willen weten van de hoofdrolspelers uit de Harry Potter films? Dat vroegen we op onze site. De vragen, opvallend veel over de liefde, stroomden binnen. Omdat Harry Potter en de Vuurbeker over een paar weken in de bioscoop komt... mochten wij Daniel, Rupert en Emma in Londen interviewen. Een makkie, want jullie hadden de vraag al bedacht. Op onze oproep of jullie vragen hadden voor de hoofdrolspelers zijn echt heel veel vragen binnengekomen. Ik heb alle vragen bij me, dus ik ga snel beginnen met de eerste vraag. Die is van Corine en gaat over de film. Wat vind je ervan dat de film voor 12 jaar en ouder is? I think it's right that it's been given a 12 rating because you know it is it is pretty scary towards the end of it. So I think that's right, yeah. En dan de liefde, daar gingen de meeste vragen over. Zo heeft Daphne gelezen dat Daniel en Emma een relatie hebben gehad. Is dat waar? I'm sorry Daphne, no that's not true. As much as I think hundreds of people would like it to be, um, it's not actually the case. We're really, really close. We're really good friends. We're more like a sort of brother and sister, I suppose. So, um, but not going out, no. Alicia wil van Rupert weten of de relatie tussen Ron en Hermeline lijkt op die van hem en Emma. I don't know. Uh, I think with Ron and Hermione it's a bit more uh, complicated because I think there could be something. A lot of people think there could be something between them, but um, no, me and Emma. Are Just sort of, yeah, we've known each other for a really long time. It's like sort of five years doing the films. We have good mates. Emma heeft ooit gezegd dat ze nooit met Daniel of Rupert zou zoenen. Danique vraagt hoe ze daar nu over denkt. It would still be really, really weird having to kiss either of them because they're so kind of like my brothers. But it, it's, I don't know. It would be very, very strange. Very strange. <laughs> Ook de persoonlijke vragen stroomden binnen. Vera wil weten hoe de puberteit voor Daniel is. Oh, right, okay. Um, sort of the same way that it changes for 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 anyone, I, I suppose, for any boy. Um, it it it's you have awkward moments with girls and you don't quite know what to say and you develop huge crushes on people. But I mean, other than that, not, nothing really out of the ordinary that's different from um, any other guy, really. Wat vond Emma van haar beugel, mailt Melissa. I think your teeth are for your life and um, I think it's always really nice to have a nice smile. And um, I only had to have them on for four months, so I was very lucky. It wasn't that long and um, I thought they were fine, I thought they were great. I wasn't ashamed of them at all. Okay. Evelien schrijft, is Rupert ooit gepest met zijn haarkleur? Uh, um... No, not, not never really sort of picked on. I mean, you get the odd sort of, um, when I was at school, people call you ginger and that, but never really bothered me that much. Waar Sterre benieuwd naar is, is welke kleur hun tandenborstel heeft. Pink. White with a little blue bit down one side, I think. Yeah. I got an electric toothbrush for my Christmas present, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> en tot slot de vraag van Meredith. Als je een roddel over jezelf zou moeten verspreiden, welke zou dat dan zijn? Never been asked that question before, and it's um, and it's a very good question. I'm nice. I don't know. <laughs> a bit lost there. I don't know what to say. I can't think of anything. I'd probably make out that I'm very, very tall, and that I'm going out with Scarlett Johansson or someone like that. <laughs> so if if Meredith would like to spread that rumor, that would be great. <laughs> Handtekeningen vragen was ten strengste verboden. Toch hebben we er één van Emma weten te bemachtigen. Hier staat hij in het boek. En wil je weten hoe je dit boek met haar handtekening kunt winnen? Kijk dan op onze site.